the loss of my father will always sting. But now everything that I do is in honor of him, and we all celebrate his life. Kwame Pilgrim, Errol Pilgrim's eldest son, said losing his father was one of the most difficult things that he has had to endure. Knowing that there are still questions surrounding his death that are yet to be, that are yet to be answered, I can still stand here to see friends and relatives that have come great distances even at the height of COVID. His brother Henry Pilgrim said his brother was a very incisive, intellectual and compelling mind. Errol Sinclair was a very brilliant man. We are not here to lament Errol's passing, but rather to celebrate a very complete and meaningful life with which he was truly blessed. We are certain that he would not have wanted it any other way. Veteran journalist June Rampasad shared some of her fondest memories with Mr. Pilgrim. Pillows were taking the carnival events. Uh, sorry, Pillows love for culture was just as tremendous as his passion for good journalism. No wonder he would often compose a ditty for any small calypso competition once called upon to do so. His friend of over 50 years, newspaper columnist Keith Subero, said he would be greatly missed by him and many others. Our exchanges were never heated or hostile. It was always healthy, with fresh takeaways positions, which elevated each, each other's points of view. I learned from Errol, and Errol, I, I believe he learned from me. Many of his media colleagues described Errol Pilgrim as stern but humble. Mr. Pilgrim passed away earlier this month at the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex in Mount Hope after undergoing surgery. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.